Hey guys, so today I'll be doing a NYX haul. I recently got sent a few NYX products from makeup.co.nz. I'll leave their website link down below along with their Facebook page and their Instagram just so you guys can go and follow them and keep updated with like promotions and new products and all of that jazz. And if you keep on watching closer to the end, there will be a tutorial on the makeup that I'm wearing right now, which is kind of like a um, soft glam gothic i'm just going to call it kind of gothic inspired look using a few of the nyx products that i show you in this video and it's also featuring the new lime crime velvet teen from the clueless witch collection which is selling it's like a brownie type of shade but this is pretty much the look that i'll be um doing at the end of the video so definitely stay tuned for that and if you enjoy this video please thumbs up so I'm going to start off with the eyeshadows and I've got two eyeshadow quads. These are the NYX Love in Paris eyeshadow quads and i got two. I've got one which is this one. I'll just open it. I've got this one which is called Genesis, I think it says. I think it's in French. I can't pronounce what that says. But it comes with a whole lot of neutral tones. This is a really nice everyday palette. And it also comes with these two darker shades. Which is like a aubergine color and a black. To intensify the look. So you can make it a nightwear if you wanted to. And then I also got this one. Which is called Be Our Guest Maurice. And this one just has a lot of purple shades. And I'm going to be creating a lot of soft and more kind of dramatic purple smoky eyes so that's that one there then I got a few more eye products because I wanted to create a pretty much like a full apart from my brows I wanted to create a full eye makeup look just using NYX so I got the eyeshadows and then I also got a mascara this is the Lee Chick Flick waterproof mascara in black of course and it just looks like this and if you're a makeup artist or you've just been into a makeup store and you've seen the disposable makeup ones that we use for makeup for our makeup kit just for hygienic reasons this brush is pretty much you can't see it because it's quite far away my camera does an autofocus but the brush is pretty much I would say it's like the same to a disposable or almost the same to a disposable um, makeup wand I'm not a fan of the brush like it does make my lashes look nice but I just don't like the feeling of me using this brush pretty much I'm quite fussy but it's a good mascara I just don't like the brush but yeah that's pretty much what I've got as mascara they had another one which is called um what was it called I think it was called bad girl or something like that but they were out of stock which I was pretty bummed about because I saw a lot of reviews on that specific mascara um, but I just got that one instead because they were out of stock and then I also got this which is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk which is another um, hugely raved about product and it's been ra raved a lot for a while now I'm kind of like one of those people who get a product after the hype has gone but yeah, I really like this eye um, jumbo pencil and I do own two others. I own slate and cobalt, which is a blue and a slate is like a um, metal silvery. Now it's just look like a metal grey colour. But yeah, I really like this and I did used to own the one in the pot. So if I were to recommend out of the white base in the pot or this one, I would totally get this one. I find that the pot ones are more thicker and kind of more greasier in my opinion so I really like that and I can't wait to use it um, in more tutorials then I also got this which is a super skinny eye marker so it's a liquid liner pen and of course I still have my favorite which is the Saloni one I use it in all my videos but um, I thought I would try this one it was out of this one or the jumbo one so I, I went with this one and it just has like a really fine tip and I'll do a close up soon so you can see how small it is but it's a very fine and a super small type of tip so if you're a beginner I would probably recommend trying this one out it's kind of um, really easy to control and it's not too inky as well so you can kind of build up a line without going too thick or without a lot of ink coming out but I do find with this that um, it, it feels like the tip is a bit dry so when you do store it like get your makeup brush jar or just any jar holder 
and when you store it, store it with the, the tip facing down so when you're not using it, all the ink goes and sits in the tip so when you use it, it's not dried out and it also helps your liner to last longer. So that's a really good tip that I think you guys would find um, useful. And I've never seen these products before, the Aqualux liner, so I searched on Google and I went on YouTube and there weren't much videos of people using this or videos that were actually clear so I could see the colour. So I wasn't too sure whether I wanted to get it or not, but you know, what the hey, I wanted to try it, that way you guys know what it looks like. So I went with the safest colour, which was Glam Nude, and it's what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. You can see the kind of sparkle line. And this is a really pretty colour and I'm so glad I got it. When I wore this I received so much compliments. It's like a metallic liner but it's like a champagne colour with like a hint of pink. It's just super pretty. So if you were to get a liner, a glam liner, I would totally recommend getting the glam node. It's a really pretty colour so that's what I got. Next product I got is this NYX Matte Bronzer. And this is new to the website. I know they recently got these and when I saw them posted up on Facebook, I was just like, I have to have that. I just love bronzers and I'm sure you guys are familiar with that as well. I'm not much of a blush person. I have been wearing blush lately, so if I can wear blush, then you guys can step outside your comfort zone as well and try something different. So this is the matte bronzer that I got and there's light, medium and dark and I went with medium just to be like a bit more safer because I didn't want it to be too dark and I don't want it to be too light so medium is always a so uh, safer option so yep that's the bronzer that I got and it's a matte but I'm sure I mentioned that earlier anyways but yep the last next products that I got is of course some lip products and I got these three here and I've always wanted these. I see a lot of people using them and they look so cute. And um, I own a few NYX lipsticks as well. So I really like those. But these two are pretty much the, the soft matte lip creams. And I've got one colour, which is a pink to go with my purple eyeshadow palette. And this is in the colour Milan. And it's just like a nice pink shade. I don't like pastel pinks. And I wanted, I still wanted a baby pink, but I didn't want it to be pastel-like. So this was a really good pink. And then I also got um, this color, which is Monte Carlo. And to me, when I put this on, it's like a softer version of the Red Velveteen. Um, it's not as good as the Red Velveteen. It, of course, that is like my Holy Grail Red. But this one is a really nice, like, um, it's like a raspberry, like a real... Yeah, it's like a raspberry red. It's really pretty and they do last quite a long time as well because they're matte. And then the last one I got, and sorry, the red one was to go with my neutral palette. And then I also got Butter Gloss and Maple Blondie. I wanted another one, but they were out of stock of the one I wanted. But I think this one looks similar anyway, so it's not really a big fuss. But this is the next Butter Gloss, yeah, and Maple Blondie. And it's like a nice shiny lip gloss but with colour. And I'll try and swatch it. So you can kind of see that as it reflects. And it's a really nice lip gloss. You can even wear this alone if you wanted to. So while I was on the website choosing my next products, I decided to treat myself to something else. So I ended up getting these Adele Professional Natural Lashes in Demi Wispies. They just come like this, and of course I'll do a close-up too. But these ones have a transparent band, which are my favourite lashes to use. They're more natural, they're less heavy, and they're kind of they're kind of like individual lashes, except on one strip that is see-through. So you literally can just put it on, and it blends in so nicely with your lashes. And I was going to use it for the tutorial on this look, but I didn't want to waste them because I want to use it. For um, my um, what's it called? My tutorials coming up for ball season using the NYX palette, so I wanted to save them. And then I oh, oh sorry, in this style, oh yeah, I already told you it's Demi Wispies and just in black. And then lastly, I got this, which you already know what this is. This is the Lime Crime lipstick. It's part of the new Velveteen collection, the Clueless Witch, and it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And it's called Salem. I think that's how you pronounce it, Salem. So it just looks like that. And it's a really, it's like the most gorgeous brown I've ever laid eyes on. And it's matte, which makes it like 
so much better but I'm so in love with this color and I've also received a lot of compliments as well but yeah that's pretty much the lips that I, that I got I have the black on the way and I just need my hands on the last one which is wicked which is more of like a maroon not maroon yes yeah, like a maroony berry type of color so once I get my hands on that one I'll have the full collection um, and then until June I think is when they come out with another velveteen it's like a raspberry color if I remember right but I think it's coming out in June so I'm really excited to get my hands on that as well so that was the end of my makeup haul and all the next products that I got from makeup.co.nz all the products mentioned in this video will be listed down below as well and don't forget to check out the website and follow um, makeup.co.nz on Facebook and Instagram. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get straight into this tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Thank you. 